So let's dive in yeah. and take a look at what is happening right here in Northwest Arkansas. Yes, we've got a lot of things going on in our area, including the Arkansas Razorback men's basketball team. That's right. The Must Bus. They're going to be back at Bud Walton tonight for one final stop before driving into conference play. The Razorback men's basketball team will take on the Bulldogs from UNC Asheville. Tip is set for 8 o'clock tonight. And they do still have some remaining tickets for this last home game okay. of 2022. And also, if, if you can't make the game but you do have tickets already, Coach Muss and the university are asking that you consider sending a Christmas gift to someone by transferring your tickets so they can be distributed to local groups. So they really want to pack out the bud tonight for the last game of 2022. I love that idea. Today is winter solstice. It's the first day of astronomical winter, as Jason mentioned just a second ago. And Hop State Park will host a winter solstice celebration from 3 to 6 p.m. in the observance of the shortest day of the year. Visitors can enjoy a bonfire, make s'mores, drink hot cocoa, and hear about solstice traditions. Then at sunset, guests will take a self-guided walk on the Ozark Plateau Trail, which will be lit with luminaries for the occasion. So after returning from the walk, you can write down what you wish to get rid of going into the new year. Oh, I like that idea. Yes. Oasis of Northwest Arkansas has an urgent Christmas need. The center, which is a living community for women in recovery from addiction, says they have had an influx of women and children in need of coats and necessities this season. So if you're able to donate, you can make a donation of coats, jackets, and cold weather attire by calling the center to schedule a drop-off, or alternatively, you can also give a financial donation to the center to help them further their mission. Well, this Friday is Christmas movie night at Big Sexy Food in Springdale. You can stay warm by cozying up to the Christmas movie Elf, of course, Christmas classic that stars Will Ferrell. You're invited to head down to their location on Friday starting at 5 p.m. Come out and enjoy a great meal and then get in on a festive spirit with the movie. That's right. And speaking of staying warm, if you're looking for a place to stay warm later this week, there are a few places in our area to go to. St. James Baptist Church on South Willow Avenue in Fayetteville will be open, and so will the Fayetteville Salvation Army on West 15th Street in Bentonville and the Salvation Army on Southwest I Street. Oh, that one's in Bentonville, yeah. They're also going to be open for folks who are needing a place to stay. Well, humans aren't the only ones who need to stay warm. Fayetteville Animal Service also encouraging pet owners to prepare for colder temperatures. Now, uh, you should bring your pets indoors tonight through Saturday, of course, because it is so cold. And uh, Zach Gilday will tell us just how cold here in a second in order to avoid any harm to your pet and citations being issued. So vets say to remember the windier, wetter, and darker it is outside, the colder it's going to feel and the more danger your pet may be in. So make sure you bring those pets in from outside so they can stay warm as well. Yeah. Because it is definitely going to be very chilly outside. It's going to be chilly outside yeah, for, for sure. sure. Yes.